Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to make this video today. If you are new to my channel, my name is Kyra. I am a leasing agent with Compass and I also make videos all about Chicago and Chicago apartments and things to do in Chicago as well as Trader Joe's. So it's just a really good time and I highly recommend sticking around and hitting that big red subscribe button. Today's video, literally I have goosebumps. I'm so, so excited to show you this. Today's video is all about why you should live in the loop. The loop is one of those areas. It's like if you're looking at like a San Francisco or a New York or something, the loop is kind of your financial district there's a lot of office buildings and over the last year the loop got really really quiet as the office buildings were closed and it just had a very different feel I am so excited to say that Chicago is coming back and doing so well and it's so good to see people out and the loop is back to life and better than ever and I am obsessed it's a very cool area because the loop has every single train line running through it the reason it's called the loop is because it's actually the trains run in a loop around the center of the city and so you have all these train lines accessible and you can get to any Anywhere else in the city super super easily I can rant about the loop all day long and I'm going to but this video is just gonna show you all of the different reasons why you should live in the loop in this loop video is show off one of my favorite buildings. Today we are going to be touring the Alfred. This is a flats building in the loop. It is a super, super cool building. It was actually built in the 20s and it was originally an office building and they've completely redone it. It's beautiful now. But the name of the architect, the builder who made the building, his name was Alfred. I don't know his last name, but his first name was Alfred. And I think that's just really cute and funny. Is it cute or is it weird? <laughs> so cute. Hello and welcome to the Alfred. So for those of you who aren't aware, convertible units mean that you really have a designated bedroom area, but you don't have a door. So really, this is a full bedroom. You could easily fit a queen size bed. This is a queen. I have to measure with my arms. My arms are the same size as a queen. I have to fit an extra dresser. Your closet over here is huge, but it makes it so that when you have this giant bedroom area, you have literally a designated bedroom, but you don't have a door. I think if you're living by yourself, that a convertible is a really, really great option because you still get that separation, but you're not paying the price of a one bedroom. The living room kitchen is really what makes this apartment. This unit is south facing, so you have these giant windows, which is awesome to be able to bring in so much light. But what's cool is that the ceilings right here are also extra tall, so the windows are even bigger, but it's such a good amount of space to be able to do as a living room. You can even add desks in here and like move the desk forward and have a work from home space, but such a good use of functional space. This is the kitchen. The kitchen is one of my favorites. I love any kitchen that has a breakfast bar because it makes it so that way you don't need to have a dining table. You can just eat at your bar because honestly, who uses a dining table anyways? But you also have a full-size gas grill, full-size dishwasher, and full-size fridge. You don't see those in every single unit in Chicago. So you have like a really big, full functional kitchen here which is awesome all right next i want to take you into a one bedroom unit all right so we are now in a one bedroom apartment this apartment is so cute it's so cozy and i love how they've decorated it this is your kitchen and it has this amazing kitchen island i am obsessed with kitchen islands i think i can just come out and say it like i love kitchen islands uh, but this one has a super deep sink again full-size fridge and freezer full-size dishwasher gas range stove 
I love the open shelving and it gets like really good sunlight from here. So that would be such a cute place to put plants. And then the living room. This is the real money maker in this one. I love how they set it up. They have their your little couch here and your TV behind you. And it just feels like such a cute, cozy space. And the ceilings are extra tall in this unit as well. And so you really do make it feel like your unit is so much bigger than it actually is. I would like to move in here. No, you can leave now. This is, this is my home. Why are you in my house? <laughs> Just kidding, come on. All right, this is your bedroom. Again, such a good view. Imagine sitting up in your bed and then looking at your window at just that lake view every morning. So all of the bathrooms in the Alfred are pretty much the same. They will all have very similar finishes. And so you've got a really great vanity with extra storage. I love that your medicine cabinet opens up so you can store stuff back there. They also all have hooks on the walls for your towels, which is great. And then the shower is this really pretty subway tile. It has the rain shower heads as well as the secondary shower head and the two baskets on the wall. So I think those are just like super, super helpful and it makes it so that way like you're not like putting gross stuff on the floor in your bathroom, which nobody needs or loves. I just am obsessed with these because you get all of the vintage charm that you would want in a like downtown, like more historic building in Chicago, but you don't give up and compromise at all in any of like the niceness. You still get everything that you'd want in like a luxury high rise. Now let's go see the rest of the loop. Kanye West song, good morning. So this morning we went for a walk through Millennium Park and went over to Buckingham Fountain. It's one of my favorite parts of the loop is there's so much green space. The parks are huge and they're beautiful and really nicely maintained. You have the bean, it's just like such a beautiful area and you're right on the lake, so absolutely so pretty. The bean has also been closed since COVID. They had fencing going completely around it so you couldn't go up to it. And so it's nice to see everything like back open. It's beautiful. It's 8 a.m. and like people are just starting to start trickling in here, but as the Day goes on the bean gets packed like everyone needs their picture in front of the bean it's a classic and now we're gonna go to one of my favorite places in probably all of chicago we're going to i don't know how to say it though. vento ventu ventu it's a coffee shop but then at nighttime it turns into a bar restaurant and they have a absolutely freaking phenomenal happy hour with dollar oysters and just like so much good stuff but we're going for coffee this morning and it is absolutely beautiful so i to take you guys there it's right off of the park so it's a great place in the loop if you're looking to grab breakfast or brunch or dinner and also like their wi-fi works really well there so it's a good place to work too should we go get some coffee let's do it walking downtown and i'm okay He's got it all figured out, that's what they all say, yeah.
All right, so I'm at Roanoke right now. This is one of my favorite restaurants in the loop. One of my friends like randomly brought me here. I think it was St. Patrick's Day and they have the short rib chili literally to die for. So good. I've also showed it. I've been to the Roanoke for their ladies night before and it is so much fun. So highly, highly recommend. I'm here for an event tonight. They do like lots of like small events and stuff. So it's a really great spot if you want to like host a birthday party or a bridal shower or something. But we're at an event tonight and so there's gonna be like food and drinks. They're playing music and so I cannot talk in there because I will get copywritten. But I wanted to come out and show you before I go in there because it is so cute and so fun and I love their food so I cannot wait to eat. <laughs> also they gave me a Cosmo so already a good sign. up here I hope you liked it as you can see the loop has quickly become one of my favorite neighborhoods I just love how easily you can get around you are right off the park you have the lake you have so many good restaurants and stuff down here too as well as a ton of shopping so the loop is such a good place to be if you're looking for an apartment please feel free to reach out to me I would love to help you find an apartment also of course if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up as well as hit that big red subscribe button I post at least two videos a week usually three and I'd love for you to follow along lastly go over and follow me on Instagram I post a ton of other Chicago content and apartments and stuff over there and I'd love for you to be able to see that too thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time